All right, so here's part three of probability. Uh, let's look at problem five. And just to refresh, just remember that the probability is the number of successful outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. All right, so here, suppose you have a bucket containing five green, six orange, and two yellow balls. You then reach in and remove one ball find the following probabilities. So if, you, if you've watched the other videos, you notice we've, we've always written out the sample space. Well, in this one, well, we don't really need to. Okay, it tells us we have five green, six orange, and two yellow. Okay, so remember, the probability is just number of successful outcomes over the number of probable possible outcomes. So here, I mean, the probability of a green ball being drawn, well, it's the number of successful outcomes. Well, in this bucket, there's five green, six orange, and two yellow. So the number of successful, well, there's five of them that are green. So that would be five over, and the total number, the, uh, the total number of possible outcomes, so possible, and do that in a different color, uh, possible outcomes is equal to 5 plus 6 plus 2 which is 13 and so that's over the number of possible outcomes which is 13 alright well let's look at the next one probability of drawing an orange ball well that's the number of successful outcomes, which is, well, there's six orange. So that's six over the possible outcomes, which is 13. And then the probability of a yellow, okay. Well, there's two yellow balls. That's the number of successful over 13, the number of possible. Okay, so, you know, that was pretty easy. Let's, let's take a look at the next one, number six. All right, so we have another bucket, same thing. Suppose you have a bucket containing five green, six orange, and two yellow balls. Suppose you draw a ball three times without replacing the previous ball. Find the following probability. Okay, so we have the bucket of balls here. Okay, we got all these balls in here. And we're going to reach in, and then we're not going to put that ball back. We're going to reach in, take it out, and set it on the table. Then we're going to reach in, take it out, set it on the table, reach in, take it out, and set it on the table. So let's find the probabilities of doing that. Okay. All right, so let's see. We know that the number of possible outcomes. This is possible outcomes. We know that's 13, the 5 plus 6 plus 2. Okay, But we need the number of successful outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. Okay. Alright, so what's the probability of drawing a green, green, yellow? Okay, so what would that be? Well, let's see, the probability, the probability of a green, green, and then yellow. Okay, all right, so, well, what's the probability of drawing a green ball? Well, it's the number of successful outcomes over the number of possible outcomes. And then on the second draw, I need a green ball. So what's the probability of getting a green one on the second one? Well, it's the number of successful over the number of possible. Okay, so why is it 4 over 12? Well, when I drew 
when I drew the first ball and set it to the side, okay, this was a green one. Okay, this is a green ball here. Okay, I did not put it back. Notice it says without replacing the previous ball. So when I reach out there, reach in the bucket again, this green ball is sitting out. So that means there's only four green balls and a total of 12 because there was 13, but when I took this one out, there's only 12 in there. So the number of successful green, there's only four now because this green one's sitting here, and the total, which is 12, because there's not 13 anymore. This one's sitting here. Okay. And then I need a yellow ball on the third draw. Well, that's the number of successful. Well, there's two yellow balls because out here right now, there's two green ones. You see that? There's two green ones. Well, there's still two yellow balls in there, so that's going to be two over. But remember, there was 13, but I'm not replacing the balls. Okay? And there's two out here, so this is over 11. And so this would be, and you just have to multiply it out, that's going to be, let's see. So I get point zero two three three when I punch that into my calculator. I just, and it's rounded to four decimals. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at the next one. What's the probability of drawing a green, orange, and then a yellow? Okay, so let's see the probability of a green, an orange, and then a yellow. Okay. And remember, I'm not replacing. And and remember, we're not replacing these. These these are called what? These events are dependent. Okay? This event depends on what this one was. Okay. So the you know the outcome of the you know the outcome of the first affects the outcome of the next one. All right. So here, well, what's the probability of getting a green? This is the first one we're drawing. So well, there's five green, and there's thirteen total balls in there. Okay. And then on the next one, I want an orange. Well, how many orange balls are in there? Well, there's six. Okay, so that's six over, and then the number of possible outcomes, well, there's one ball sitting out. See, there's that green one sitting there. Okay, so there's only 12. And then for the yellow, well, how many yellow balls are in there? Well, there's two, because I haven't drawn a yellow. I've drawn a green one, an orange one, but there are two yellows. But now there's only 11 because that orange ball sitting here too. Okay. And so for this one, we... all right, and so I get this when I round it to uh, four decimal places. And I know it's three, but that fourth one was a nine and it rounded up. <clears throat> all right, so. All right, let's look at the next one. All right, so now it's going to be the same thing. We have a bucket containing 13 balls, and of the 13, five are green, six are orange, and two are yellow. Suppose you, you draw a ball three times and replace the previous ball. So see, in the last example, we drew the ball and we didn't put it back. But now we're going to draw the ball. We're going to record what we got and then we're going to put it back and then draw another one okay and these events are independent see in the last example those were dependent and this one they're independent because whatever I draw on the first ball that has no effect on the second one because I'm putting that ball back okay all right so we know that the number of possible outcomes the number of possible outcomes is equal to 13 okay and the 5 6 and 2 all right so let's look the probability of a green green 
yellow. Okay. All right, well, what's the probability that I get a green ball on the first draw? Well, there's five green and there's 13 total. The number of successful outcomes over the number of possible outcomes. Okay, and then on the next ball, I want a green. So what's that probability? Well, it's the number of successful outcomes over the number of possible outcomes. So you see how it's different than the last problem. It's 5 over 13 for the green because in this bucket, I've got the balls here. Okay, and so I draw one out and I, I draw the... It's not changing colors. Let's see. Oh well. But anyway, I've got the green one here. Okay. And I draw it. I record that I drew the green one. That's 5 over 13. And then I'm going to take this ball and I'm putting it back in the bucket. So it's no longer out there. So now I've got, I still have 5 green and 13 balls. Okay. And then so I drew that green one, I put it back. And so now the probability of a yellow is 2 over 13. There's 2 yellow, so that's the number of successful over possible. And for this, all right, so I get 0 .0228 when I round it to 4. All right, so, and you can see this probability was different than the previous problem. So now let's look the probability of a green, an orange, and then a yellow. Okay. Well, what's the probability of getting a green ball? Well, it's the number of successful over the number of possible. And then an orange on the next one. Well, that's the number of successful. There's six orange. Well, there's 13 balls in there because I, the first one I drew, I put it back. Okay. And then the orange, that would be the number of successful over the number of possible. And the yellow, there's two over the number of possible. And I get 0 0.0273. Okay. When I round it to four. Now we're running on 12 minutes. I tell you, I think I'm going to go ahead and just finish this, this up. I've got this last problem. We might run close to 17, 18 minutes, but... This is the last problem, and I'm not going to do a video on it by itself. So, so let's look at this. If a single card is drawn at random from a standard, well-shuffled 52-card deck, find the following probabilities. Okay. So, okay, well, a 52-card 50, deck. Okay. So let's just let's just refresh our memory here. So we know that there are there's four suits we've got hearts spades well let's do this hearts diamonds spades and clubs okay and of each of these there's 13 of them okay there's 13 total and of each it goes 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay that's the number of cards it goes 2 through 10 and then you've got jack queen king and ace okay that's the 13 cards in each suit okay and so, you know, that tells you there's four twos, four threes, four fours, because you got, you've got a two of hearts, a two of diamonds, two of spades, two of clubs. And then the same thing goes for each one of those. Okay. All right. And for this, these cards here, they are red, and these cards are black okay so there's 13 of each suit there's 26 red cards 26 black cards okay now let's look at this what's the probability of drawing a 10 okay so the probability here's drawing a 10 we'll call this event e 
Well, how many tens are there? Well, there's a ten of heart, ten of diamond, ten of spades, ten of clubs. So there's four of them. Okay, so there's four divided by the number of possible outcomes, which is 52. And so that's 4 over 52, which is 1 over 13. Okay. What about the probability of drawing a face card? Okay. So the face cards, I consider them to be a jack, a queen, and a king. Okay. I don't consider the ace a face card. So the jack, queen, king, that's your face cards. And we know that we have four of each, right? Four of each. So four times three, okay. Probability we have a face card. Well, the number of successful outcomes is 12 over the number of possible outcomes, which is 52. Okay. And so this is going to be three over 13. There's my probability. Okay. What about the probability of drawing a diamond? Okay, well, probability of a diamond. Okay. Well, how many diamonds are there? There's 13 divided by the number of possible outcomes, which is what? Nah. The possible outcomes, 52, which that is what? 1 over, well, I don't know why I keep writing 26. So that's 1 fourth, okay, because there's 13 diamonds. What about this one? Probability of drawing a diamond or a club. Well, that means I can get the, a diamond or a club, right? So how many successful outcomes are there? Well, there's 26, right? So we'll call this event E. So the probability of E, well, the number of successful, there's 13 clubs, 13 diamonds, so there's 26 successful outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes, which is 52, and so that gives me one half. Okay, so I hope these this has helped. This is just probability. This is some basic probability. I'm going to do some more videos on uh, where we have the probability of this or this, where we have the or statement, and I'm going to do the probability where we have this and this, the and statement, and we'll do uh, some conditional probability. I'll do that in some videos, and I'll put all these in my in the statistics playlist. And also, I'm going to do some probabilities, which will sum all those up, the conditional, and, or, all that stuff, where you're given a table, okay? And you've got to find the, you've got to use that table to find the probabilities. So, I got... Quite, I, got, I have quite a few more, and when I get those done, I'll probably these will be posted before those the, before I get those done probably. But I'll put links in the videos to all of these. So, all right. So I'll shut up now. So hopefully this helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right. Thanks.